Is it about the job? Yeah. My dad's not here. Oh, right, OK. Uh, I'll pop back then. No, no, wait. He's just rung and told me to do the interview. Has he? Yeah. Uh, why don't you start by serving Sarah? <laughs> um, right, OK. OK. Just these. Right, that's, um, 75 pence, please. You haven't asked if she wants anything else. I was just about to do that. Um, would you like anything else? No. Just get your change. You haven't said thank you. You never say thank you. You never even look up from your iPod. Do you mind? I'm interviewing here. So go on, complete the transaction. There you go. Thank you. Right, um, I'd like you to spend the next five minutes just walking around the shop, familiarising yourself with the layout and the stock, and then I'm going to ask you some questions. Where were we? You were calling me a liar. Convince me you're not. Look, this is mad. Why would I make something like this up? You hated Charlie Stubbs. Well, everybody hated Charlie Stubbs. You claim that he attacked you on more than one occasion. He did. And I've got witnesses. You wanted revenge. Well, I got it, didn't I? He's dead. So you are glad that he's dead? Look, is this what they're going to be asking me in court? This is why I didn't want to get involved. It's too heavy. I thought you didn't scare easily. This is stupid. You're trying to make me out to be rubbish when I'm not. I'm testing your powers of recall. Uh, sweet Converger Relish, how much? <laughs> you can't expect me to memorise the price of every item in shop. Yeah, but you've got one out of seven so far, and that was a lucky guess. Uh, next, Garibaldi biscuits. Right. Um. Uh-uh, that's cheating. I don't need to know the price because it's on the packet, £1.32. But, I mean, that's expensive. Are you slagging off our prices? You can get them for half this at the all-night garage. Yeah, well, they're probably full of chemicals and E-numbers. We only sell the best. Oh, right. Your granny baked these herself this morning, did she? Are you saying we sell rubbish? No. Overpriced rubbish. That's what you're saying. You know, maybe you should go work at the all-night garage. I'm supposed to be mucking out a Rhodesian Ridgeback with diarrhoea this morning. Sounds like fun compared to this. You are besmirching at my good name. Do you really think you can con a jury with your smart aleck comments? I don't need to con anybody. In fact, I don't even need to be here. Walk away, then. If you don't think your story's going to stand up. I stand by every word I've said. I saw Charlie in the kitchen. And then I heard him threaten to kill Tracy. So why didn't you tell the police? Because I didn't want to get involved. And I was scared, all right? I tried to blot all this out, but he was still alive at this point. I mean, if I'd have said something and didn't know it were me, this is what I have nightmares about. What he did to me, he tried to kill me. Go on. Well, then when he did die, I heard that Tracy were being charged with murder. I mean, I had to say something then, didn't I? I had to. All right. That's enough for today. Thank you. Are you OK? You've done very well. You just said you didn't believe me. I had to be sure you could withstand cross-examination. You mean you were just conning me? Testing your metal, I call it. And I'm impressed. You did very well. Hey, you can sit down and bring them over. OK. Yeah, red wine for Trace and a lemonade for me. <clears throat> I don't know why you're still seeing her. <laughs> I think I just really like sleeping it. with her. Yes. Oh, so really you just sheepsy. Well, you know, seeing Tracy again is like slipping on an old pair of trainers. <laughs> you do have a way with words, kid. No, what I mean is that, you know, it's not hard. You know, she's sort of desperate. Yeah, no, no, I mean, not desperate. I mean, she's there, you know what I mean? There's, uh, mm. there's nothing heavy, there's no strings. Mm. In uh, many ways, they're perfect relationship. Ah, so what are you worried about, then? 
Well, I'm worried that that's the way I see it. Might not be the way she sees it. Either. Ah, that's that Michelle putting ideas in your head. Somebody take him out of my vein. Yes, I was, actually. I asked you to wipe the mastrails out ages ago. Mm. Got all the best jobs. So she's right. Jay, I'm being used. Well, seeing as you're using air, I'd say it kind of balanced itself out. Yeah, true. I see she wants another baby, then. Mm. But you see, I don't see how her going out with you is going to help her cold case. I'll have a word with her anyway and clear the air. Uh, yes, Steve, a word of advice. Just try and be tactful. Eh? Yeah, she is known for a temper. Of course I'll be tactful. What would you take me for? I'll bring you drinks, sir. You can have him back now. How did you do? Very well. I think he'll make an excellent witness. So, in court, will they groom me like what you just have? You won't actually appear in court. What? You're still a minor. You'll give your evidence and be cross-examined via video link. Is there a problem? Well, yeah, I'm not a kid. So why are they treating me like one? It's normal procedure. Although, I can apply to the judge and see if she'll let you testify in person. Either way, your evidence is absolutely crucial to our defence. There'll be a lot of speculating about what actually happened to Mr. Stubbs. You are the only actual eyewitness. Where is your sense of fair play? I thought you were decent people. We are decent, honest, hard-working people. Most of us are. And we don't like the way people like Becky Granger operate. Hey, look, why are you wasting your energy on her? She's not worth it. You're too nice. I am not too nice. I just believe that everyone deserves a decent chance in life. How many chances do you think she's had and blown? Well, that doesn't mean she should take the rap for something she hasn't done. Uh, uh, excuse me? I took the rap for something that I didn't do, and it was actually her to blame. Yeah, yeah, I know. That was very unfortunate. Uh, it's not like she's gone to prison or anything, is it? No, but she has been wrongly accused. Oh. And her reputation's in tatters, gasp, horror. No, no, she, she really is very hurt. I know she's very hurt. This has happened just as she was getting her life back on track. Oh, can you not find a more worthy cause to bang your drum for, like minky whales? Yeah, or killer sharks. I'm obviously just wasting your breath. No, I just wanted to make sure we were singing off the same hymn sheet, you know, uh, relationship-wise. Right. Well, what does that mean? We you know, I just wanted to make sure that you were, um... Uh, that you were happy, because I'm happy. I'm really happy. Steve! Oh, that is so cute. Well, I'm happy too. Love it. Doesn't make you sick. <clears throat> I think Tracy might be getting mixed messages. Why'd you say that? Well, you are sitting there like Love's Young Dream. I'm not having a show, but little my relationship. I'll have another red wine, please. Hey. Any problems while I was out? Nothing I couldn't handle. Good, good. That Molly Bird came in about the job. Molly Bird? Oh, Molly, yeah, yeah. Did she say she was coming back? Well, actually, we got talking, yeah. and she didn't seem very keen. I don't know why. Hmm. Huh. No loss. I believe congratulations are in order. Oh, yeah? Yeah, my solicitor was very impressed with you. Yeah, well, she wanted her first. No, she said you could come across as smug, but we can work on that. She said you were mature, bright, articulate. Yeah, well, I am. Plus, she said that she's confident you'll have no problem taking the stand. Yeah, look, is there a date set for this trial yet? It's March the 26th. Why? It's just, um, I've got footy practice that day. Well, they won't call you that day, then. Besides, this is much more important than footy practice. Yeah, well, I've also been thinking about it, Tracy, and I'm not sure I can go through with it. Is this a wind-up? No. I'm dead serious. You need to ring Jane and tell her. I'm pulling out. Hey, remember that punter we used to pick up regular? Said he was a DJ impresario. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, Dave 
something, I'd, I'd be out. Oh, I know what you mean. I wouldn't have him in the car. I just brought him from the airport. Tell me he's had a bath. No, he still smells. But he's still an impresario. He's revamped that bar on Laird Street. Oh, yeah, so they were doing work then. Yeah, he walked me round. It's fairly cool. Three floors, grand opening Friday night. And guess what I've got? Uh, 50p tokens off alcohol before nine. Ten VIP passes. No. Yeah, it's fancy. Me, you and the lads. Uh, <coughs> oh, sorry, Claire. You can come, obviously. <laughs> Bring Ashley. I don't think it's going to be your scene. Hey, I'm not Nora Batty, you know. I have been to Rose. Yeah, of course you have. In fact, the Moose Tea Feel of remix of Maloko Sing It Back is one of my all time favourites. <laughs> I've had Dave in the back of my car, too. Has the pressure got to you? Is that it? No. Well, has Jane said something to upset you? No. Oh, she has, hasn't she? Stupid cat. Look, it's got nothing to do with Jane. Well, you were fine before you went to see her, and according to her, you were fine afterwards. Dead keen to take the stand, she said. Yeah, well, I'm not anymore. Well, you know what, David? That's just great. I mean, don't worry about me. I'll just go to prison for 20 years. Hey, well, that's not my fault. No. No, you're right. I'm, I'm sorry. I... I'm just shocked, that's all. I thought we had an understanding, David. I thought I could rely on you. Well, well, maybe you could still plead not guilty. I mean, the jury might believe you. Well, are you worried about going to court? Is that it? Because you know what? You don't have to. You can give your evidence by video link. Well, that's not going to make a difference. I'm sure it won't be as bad as you think. You're not accused of anything. You just need to stand there and tell him what you saw. That's just it, isn't it? I didn't see anything. What do you mean, David? Of course you did. I made it all up. Come on, Tracy, you knew that. I was sat right here. I didn't see or hear anything. Keep your voice down, because somebody is going to hear you. Well, that's why I can't go to court and say what I saw, because I made it all up. 